I'm gonna make it somehow in the future. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna make it far. I just wanna become successful. I'm gonna move forward in my life. I'm going to college. So I deserve to be in the top one. I'm graduating. That, that has to be the greatest feeling for someone, especially me coming to this school. In my old school, they wanted to achieve like a, a really good graduation rate so more students could come. So when I first got to that school, freshman year, it was about 140, between 140 and 150 freshmen. And by the senior year, it was about 50 seniors. Teachers didn't really care about you. It's a school above almost 1,300 kids, and you're one kid that, if you're messing up in school, you're not really relevant to anybody. You're just somebody in the wind that just floats by. It's just a piece of paper. And it doesn't really matter. I would cut class, but I don't feel like a principal should ever put a, uh, a student down. She will probably call me ghetto, or she would tell me I'm not going anywhere. And I remember I told her, I'm gonna transfer out of your school, I don't wanna be here. And she was like, huh, do you think that any school will prove you with them grades? I don't think so. I started slacking off, I got bad grades, I failed exams, so I was like, what's the point? I was skipping class, and I fell into the wrong group of people, and I began to fail. And it was in the middle of the year, so they were saying that no schools want to take the transfer and that you should just drop out. Teachers didn't really seek me out because there's like a thousand kids in the school and there's no point of seeking out one kid that doesn't want to do anything. They just think that I don't have any potential. I was getting horrific grades. I was getting 55, 60s. Not going to school, I was cutting and hanging out with the wrong crowd. I wanted to be everywhere where everybody else was at. I didn't want to be by myself. In my school, I used to be one of the top students. But I came here, I had the feeling, okay, I still want to be a good student. It just makes me think about my first days in, in this country. I really struggled a lot. I come from Guinea, which is in West Africa. I live around Polo Grounds. It's a, it's a struggle to live around that area. Sometimes you can't even walk around the avenue without something happening to you. I've seen people get jumped countless times, shot countless times. I lost so much where I've been. I was with my mom until about the age of nine, where I did, when I was in foster care for two years, based off false allegations. So after two years, I'm back with my mom. But within those two years, it was very emotional for me. I lost my grandfather and my stepfather at the same time, which is my sister father. It was just hard, because I didn't have the person I want, which is my mother, to be there to support me through everything can't keep everybody in your life. You lose things. Whether you physically lose them or mentally lose them, you lose things and sacrifice is a part of life. And eventually you grow up and you learn to move forward. Oof. My first day at Harlem Renaissance. I was scared. A lot of butterflies in my stomach. My mom says that the way I had myself, my appearance, was the worst way to start off in a new school because I came in and little Afro puffs in my head. But I came with a positive mind. When I first was here, I was very lazy. I didn't want to come skipping school. And then I had to realize in order to become something, become successful, I have to work hard to get it. My name is Maria Fields, and I have been at Harlem Renaissance for two and a half years. My name is Jahari Giddy, and I've been at Harlem Renaissance for a year. My name is Emmanuel Nyarko. Uh, I've been in Harlem Renaissance since September 2014, and today is my birthday. My name is Omar Long, and I've been in Harlem Renaissance for about eight to nine months. My name is Walid Ibrahim. My name is Amadou Diallo. Uh, I'm graduating this June 2015.